saw an interesting little piece of information on Reddit a week or two ago. Somebody saw they were doing their crossword puzzles in the morning in the morning newspaper and they realized, hey, this could be a dungeon. You ever seen this before? Ever thought of this before? Turns out there was a, uh, a jam last spring on this very topic and there's some uh, interesting dungeons created out of crossword puzzles. Um, so I have this one here from my local newspaper and uh, it's just gonna do a little demonstration on how this could work. Um, it's pretty interesting. I did one on the previous month's uh, newspaper. Pardon my shaky camera. My table is uh, getting a little old and rickety here. But as you can see here, we've got a normal crossword. Here's all the, the clues. 46 across, forest. 46 across, where is that? Um, so I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me do a crossword, but that would be this one here, woodland. Cool, woodland. Anyways, here's the answer right here. So we take these these words um, that were that make up the answer of the, the answers of the crossword puzzle and we can use them as prompts for different sections of the crossword puzzle and the crossword puzzle itself gives you a room layout isn't that interesting so up in this corner here we've got um, words like um, drew uh, lira lyra whatever that is each spat Thaw coming down here. Thaw, that's interesting. Um, thaw and pear. Interesting. Okay, so let's make this in our dungeon here. Here is, maybe I'll get a pen for this here so you can see me. We're going to use this is one room. There we go. And it is ice. We've got thaw is our keyword. We're going to use that as uh, ice. There's uh, some sort of effect in here that's ice. And we've got a we've got a pear. I'm going to just put ice pear right there for prompt for later. Um, next, we've kind of got um, the words um, keystone. Interesting ape. <laughs> okay, so we've got some apes in here. Apes, keystone. Okay, and maybe we can... Um, eons. Oh, interesting. So if we... So go like this. Here is a room. And we've got eons right there. So this is a book, or a room of eons. Maybe it's got books chronicling um, eons of history. So we've got history here. We've got a keystone, we've got ape and keystone in this corner here. Um, there's gotta be apes in that room for sure. Um, keystone, interesting. Maybe there is, maybe there's a key in there or something like that. That's interesting. Maybe there's a, a keystone, <laughs> it's a stone. Uh, that's literally the key to a puzzle elsewhere. Let's continue on. Underneath here, we've got the word solar. That's interesting. Maybe there's a, a solar, um, a stellarium or something here. So solar, that's what we have there. So this kind of diagonal room. Or we could use this as a hallway. Very interesting. Down here we've got, I'll, uh, I'll do it um, on the big one here in a minute. Let's just get these words, how about sled and mate. Interesting, echo. Let's go with uh, echo and mate, perhaps. Echo, uh, what's coming down? Oh, hate, let's take one of the downs. Hate, echo and hate. Hmm, maybe like a haunted uh, ghostly echoes coming from that room. Uh, then we've got woodland across there, lodge. Okay. Okay, maybe we've got like a, a, this area 
or this whole area, room, whatever, um, is woodland. Uh, it's like a lodge. It's a, it's a housing, housing. Okay. And then in the middle, we have nothing there yet. Rot driveway, uh, rot driveway, uh, dreamers. Interesting. We've got kind of a um, got sort of sort of a haunted uh, feel coming here. We've got uh, dreamers rot, rotted dreamers in the middle. That's interesting. Okay, and then on the side here we have Yelp loses via Ryle. Not much to work with there, is it? Uh, Yelp via mm. Eves. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, loses. Okay. All right. So here's the actual puzzle. Uh, I wrote in the key words that I took for each um, area in the dungeon. Here's how we could start subdividing it up. Here, um, this whole kind of lower area keywords taken are woodland and lay so this is maybe we've got like a an arboretum down here uh, in this whole area perhaps and this would be the home the chambers of the occupants the current occupants possibly the previous ancient occupants over here we've got echo and hate and rot and dreams up the middle so this whole area may be haunted um, some sort of evil entity presence um, will stalk the characters here or be the challenge in these areas. Up here is loses, losses, uh, loses. Um, that's interesting. Something um, maybe we've got ape keystone up here. Perhaps the keystone is what is lost and is needed. This is the kind of the final puzzle room of the dungeon um, level, perhaps um, <laughs> the keystone guarded by the apes. Oddly enough, we've got some built, a built-in monster there. So there's some cave apes or I don't know, snow apes. What's <laughs> some, something scary and nasty in ape form. Um, and that will unlock the lost puzzle, whatever over here. Up here we've got um, an ice theme, a pair, two of something, an ice, perhaps uh, some frozen, um, frozen in time, perhaps, figures. Uh, and then we've got uh, eons here. So here is where they may um, discover um, the history of this place. Think that would be fitting um, and that would uh, yeah that would explain what happened to the the bodies the figures the people here who are frozen in time or maybe frozen in ice actually something like that okay okay we're getting some ideas here and over here the last one is solar exam or the two words there so exam I'm thinking that's like a library that's an ancient library um, with maybe um, a giant telescope or some kind of um, astronomical viewing device there. That might be interesting. Um, so yeah, so we've got some ideas that kickstarts the, the dungeon design. Uh, and from there we can uh, just start drawing up a proper rooms and some challenges, throw some monsters in there. And we've got our theme just from... Uh, from a nice little free crossword puzzle in the newspaper. I don't know, just uh, thought I'd put that uh, on the YouTube channel for anybody else who hadn't stumbled across this earlier. And if you're like me, you may find that interesting uh, and useful in the future. Um, good luck with those. I'd love to hear about them. Roll on.